If you got hanging plants for Mother's Day, we're going to tell you how to keep them looking great as long as possible with the one and only... The Green Thumb Guru, Ed Furtick. <laughs> Hello, Ed. Hello. It's a Master Gardener. <laughs> Now let's get right to it. What do we need to know about keeping our hanging plants living longer? Well, when you when you got your plant for Mother's Day mm -hmm. or whatever, or you're going to get a new one this year. Uh, make sure the plant goes where it wants to go. So if you have a, a shady environment, you're going to definitely want to have that. Um, uh, something like a coleus would go good there, a begonia, a fuchsia would go there. The rest of these plants you see up here now, we have lantana, portulaca, million bells. All these guys can actually, would like a more sunnier environment. So you'd want to put that there in a sunny environment. So we need to make sure we're reading, you know, that, that pamphlet or the little tab that comes in the back of our yes, plants. Yes, yes, to make sure they go in the right place. Uh, the other thing with hanging plants is they dry out a lot quicker than regular plants because they're up in the environment, they're getting beat by the sun or whatever, so you have to water them a lot more than uh, normal. And you say check them at least twice a day? Yes, in the morning and then in, in the evening when you get home, it's a good thing to check them. And of course, we've taught you before how to check the plants. Is um, Basically, you take your finger and you put it right in the soil. If it feels moist, it's fine, it's good to go. Other, another good thing to do is if you are a little bit uh, shorter or you don't want to be going way up there to get to the, uh, the hanger, um, once you get the plant and you hook it up, mm -hmm. you can actually feel the bottom just lift it a little bit from below and you'll see if it gets lighter and that's when it needs watering. So you'll get to know your plant and you won't even have to put your finger up there or go way up or oh, pull it down. Oh, you'll get to know each other. Yeah. yeah. See, I got a shepherd <laughs> hook and I put my hanging plant on that so it's right at my level so we're cool. Oh, you know? excellent. And I don't have to do any of, I don't have to get a <laughs> step stool. Sort of intricate pulley I brought system. it to my level. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's still not doing so good so I got to yep. work on my green thumb. Uh, <laughs> We need to also make sure that the pot has really good drainage, too. Yes, good drainage. And usually if you buy a plant, they, they do. But make sure the drainage holes are opening, open at the bottom. That actually, when you water it, it actually does come right through to the bottom and it, it drains out. That's a good thing to do. Make sure they uh, fill up perfectly the drain. How do you go about fertilizing a plant like this? Okay, well, fertilizing is a little bit uh, different than normal plants. Because you are watering so much, maybe twice a day, you will actually want to fertilize a little bit more because the uh, water will actually rinse away the nutrients. So you can actually fertilize on every seven watering. Some people do that. So when you water, you know, seven times, then you just fertilize again. And it'll just keep rinsing out. You could also do a, a uh, fertilization program where you just dilute the fertilizer by half or more, and then you can water it every time with fertilizer. Okay. And that'll help it too. All right, so do you have to keep track of how many times you water it? Well, it <laughs> would help if you know. So on Thursday, that would be tomorrow, we're going to show you how to make a, your own chalkboard so you could hang that right next to your hanging plant and have a little tally and going. Well, yeah. Time yeah. to fertilize, time to fertilize, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, Ed, when it comes to these, a lot of these plants, they, they won't die like this one if you keep them going for a while, but that sometimes includes repotting them. Yeah. What do you have to keep in mind when you're repotting plants? Well, when you're repotting plants, um, you just want to make sure you, you're, um, you take it out of there and you would actually look at the root structure, see if it looks good. Then you would actually uh, scratch around a little, loosen up the, uh, the roots, and then you could put it in a bigger plant uh, pot. Like if, if the plant got really big, you'd actually put it in a bigger um, hanging basket if you want. Um, that's what you would do with that. Some plants, like uh, we were saying, you, you think it's a lot of work maybe with uh, always checking the, the, the timing for watering and stuff. Mm -hmm. This portulaca here, which the, the flowers are actually closed, is probably one of the, the least maintenance plants for full sun. It looks like a succulent, the leaves. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's what it is. So it can actually take droughts. It can go like three days without water. It won't be a problem. Um, this likes full sun, so if you have a really sunny environment, this will be perfect. The sun can beat on it, and it'll be perfectly happy. Oh, for that's you. my kind of plant right yeah. there. And, and the last tip, it's more of a very exciting thing. You never know what you're going to get when you put up hanging plants. In no. terms of uh, uh, miscellaneous animals that might yeah. die. <laughs> yeah. What's it going to grow? Who's <laughs> <I know. laughs> to know? Yes, um, actually this morning when I was bringing this lantana in, I actually had to fight off a hummingbird to bring it in. He wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't very happy, he kept chirping at me. <laughs> so, but I said, you know, you'll get it back a little later in the day, buddy, just calm down. <laughs> so so uh, I brought the lantana in. They love lantanas. Sometimes you'll go up to your, your uh, plant and you might even notice a bird will make a nest in it because they love it. It's safe so near the cute. house. And just when you water and you see a nest, you can keep watering the plant, just water not on the nest, and it really won't hurt the, the nest at all. Okay, perfect. Well, from plants to plants,